You know, I have a video for this NOS rug that I found for Ruby. I was so excited when I found it. They are so hard to come by. And when they do, you want to snatch it up as quick as possible. Well, guess what I found for my Elite 250. So excited. Let me share it with you now. Welcome back to Ruby the Elite. And today I'm going to share with you something I found and snatched up quick. What you're looking at here are, or is, the original mat that went on the CH250 or Elite 250. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's actually in perfect condition. You know, all of the little rubber nubs are fine on the other side. So why am I taking this off and showing it to you? Well, if you looked at the beginning of the video, you know why. I found Honda Line carpet replacements. And uh, let's go ahead and share those with you now. And look what I found. Just like the one is on Ruby, I found the mats for the Elite 250. These are extremely hard to find, folks. And when you find them, you've got to snatch them up. They are new old stock and uh, just gorgeous. We're going to go over today how to install them, how to make them better than what the manufacturer gave us to install them. I'm not a fan. Honda let me down when it came to that, but we're going to make them better today. Just so nice having this carpet rather than the rubber and look at this cool little Honda tag that's on each one that way you know that you're getting a Honda part but the problem are these little rubber nubs that came there's only three of these and they don't really stay on the bike very good I'm not sure what Honda was thinking when they used these first of all there's only three of them on each mat and the original mats had five, so I'm not sure why they did that. But even when you get this to stay on, I'm just afraid that they're going to fly up in the wind and go bye-bye on me. And uh, I'm not going to take that chance. So I found something to make them better than what they are. And it's this kit. I found this kit, of course, on the Zon, like I find everything else. And what I'm going to do to the rubber nubs is I'm going to replace them with some snaps and the snaps will be easy to put on I actually have already started on this one there's three snaps already on and I'll show you how I put them on as the video goes on but uh, they are so much nicer than what Honda gave you Honda gave you these plastic I mean they even look cheap and the snap which is right there looks so much better so let's get on with this video and I'll show you what I had to do in order to make these perfect. So I wanted to show you actually what I'm using to hold down these new screws. This is a deflector off of a lawnmower and I just cut these little squares out of it. It's a real nice thick gauge plastic so it should be just fine to keep those screws in place. And This is one of the original holes where one of those nubs were supposed to go. And just by using a nice thick washer, and that's the way it's going to look. And then on the other side, I'm going to also put another washer, and then that thick plastic. I've already got a pilot hole in, and then I'll just screw it right into that plastic. And that should keep it in place fairly well. All right, let's show you how to put some of these snaps on. Now as far as these new holes, I had it installed and I drilled right through the carpet into the plastic on the bike. And that's how I made the new holes here. Now I'm going to go ahead and widen them a bit. And that will allow the copper to go through on the snap. And on the bike itself, when I use that little screw, 
it'll self tap right into that hole that I made so we'll be all set there so I'm just going to open this up slightly and I'll do this to both holes and get it prepared so we could add two more snaps and have a total of five rather than three that way it should secure it much better and if I have to add more I'll add more but let's start off with the five so now that I have the hole ready I'm going to take the outside part and you put it right over this little circular piece of aluminum they gave you and that keeps it in place but before we do I have to make sure that I can get that through to the other side and that there is enough of that copper peeking through that it will roll on to the other side of the snap and that's what you do they include a tool that when you hammer it down it rolls it right onto it keeping it in place you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment but you could see right there that little piece of copper so we're going to put it right on this little circular piece of aluminum they give you that's just to keep it in place when you go to hammer it all right grab one of the other pieces of the snap and put it in place kind of push it down too to make sure it's nice and snug then you put this tapping tool right in the middle of that copper and three good hits oh there's two almost and one more it doesn't take much and I'll show you it uh, rolled it real nice we'll go ahead and we'll do the other side the same way we've already opened the hole up so we don't have to worry about that and sometimes it takes a little bit to get find the hole through the thread you know through the thread of the carpet there but you eventually will and there's just enough that you can get it to peek through you can see right there that once you push it down it makes makes a real nice roll and it uh, it holds it in place with no problem just throw one more on here like so and uh, maybe take a little bit more one two three that's perfect that time and there you go looks beautiful now I've got five snaps on this instead of the original three that Honda wanted us to use and I've already got the holes in the bike so let's go ahead and attach this and after I screwed them down this is how it looks when they're on the bike all ready for the carpet to be installed you can see the little piece of plastic I went through and they don't move they're in there really well so let's go ahead and snap in the carpet so you got one there this is one of the new ones we'll snap in there got that one in place and then Pushing each one down. You still have a little bit of flap in it, but at least with the five, it's held down much better. I guess I could put another one or two in there to keep it a little bit even more secure, but I'd say this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. It looks good installed. And there you go, we've got them both installed. The snaps work great. Oop. They work just fine. I've got five snaps on each one of them. And this is probably the way that Honda should have did it to begin with. Putting five snaps on is much better than those three nubs. I didn't feel it was going to stay on the bike real well. And with this, you know, it's not moving at all. That plastic just keeps it secure. And look around the brake. It looks really nice having this carpet. 
I do suggest if you see this for, you know, whatever cost, pick it up. It's going to make your bike look so much nicer. I've only seen this particular gray carpet for the Elite 125 and 250. You can see how I have it on Ruby over there. It's possible it was made for other bikes. But good luck finding it. And if you do find it, be prepared to pay about 200 bucks for it because it's not cheap. The rubber ones are over $150 for new old stock. So if you find them at $200 and you want to spruce up your bike, it's a good way to do it. But I've got Elite 250 video still coming. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.